This is Charlemagne, crowned Holy Roman Emperor in 800 AD. That's the last time there was a drought this bad in the American West. A once in 1200 year drought. It's so severe, it's making It's being called a mega drought. A drought emergency in two California counties. 140 feet of water. 79 million people live in the West. Many of us rely on aqueducts, pipes, canals to bring our water from hundreds of miles away. But with this drought increasingly, that's not even enough. Really the most important change we've seen so far is in temperature, which is aridifying the soils, which is decreasing the amount of water we have available there. And that has a cascading effect downstream in terms of how much water we can is available to us to use. Think of it like food sitting under a heat lamp. The longer it sits there, the drier the food gets. And that's what climate change is doing and we're getting less rain. So we really have like these two forces that are both going in like the wrong direction to intensify this from both sides, right? That's right. The supply side of drought has been a factor because we're seeing less precipitation, less snowpack built during the winter time and less of that, uh, less water is making its way into the river. And then combined with that, you have increases in temperature, which is drying the land surface. So less of that water water is not making its way into the reservoirs. Reservoirs like Lake Mead and Lake Powell, which provide water and electricity to 40 million Americans. Mead is at its lowest level ever, ever. And if it drops below 895 feet, only Las Vegas would have water. And that's because they spent a billion and a half dollars on a new low level pump. That would mean no water would flow through Hoover Dam to Arizona or California. And California's two largest reservoirs are at critically low levels at the time of year. They should be near their highest levels. This is a crisis unlike anything that we've seen before. We really only have a little more than half of the water that we need to be able to make it through the summertime and into the end of the year. Californians now face the toughest water restrictions ever, but this drought affects all of us because California grows more food for Americans than any other state, including two thirds of our fruit and nuts and a third of all vegetables. This is the worst year I've ever seen because we have no water from our Central Valley project. So the only way that we can keep farming is we go out to look for other farmers that may have water and buy water from them at extremely high prices. If this pattern, if this trend doesn't change, what are we looking at in the next few years in the West? Well, we're sort of at the whim right now of the natural variations of the climate. We do need above average precipitation years. There's really no other way of that happening. And not just one year, but many years consecutively. So what can you do about this? Well, if you live out west, conserve, limit your outdoor watering, skip the car wash, maybe consider replacing grass with desert landscaping. For everyone else, vote. This is a crucial election year, and the long-term solution to drought and all of our climate problems is to cut and then eliminate fossil fuel emissions. And that's gonna require state and federal leaders who are serious about climate action.